real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Christy Nash was friends with the defendant, and she took her in to rescue her from an abusive relationship. Christy says while there, the defendant stole her belongings and then vandalized her car, so she's suing. Defendant Lynette Dowdell denies stealing from Christy, but admits that she vandalized the plaintiff's car by keying the vehicle and smashing the windshield because the plaintiff has been harassing her and falsely accusing her of being a thief. Lynette is countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Your Honor, that's my girl. We've been through everything together. We were always there for each other. We're like sisters. She was in an abusive situation. She called me, asked me if she can come stay with me so her and her daughter would be in a safe environment and I allowed her to come stay with me. All that boils down to, she stole from my house. I didn't steal she from your house. She vandalized my car. I did not steal nothing took, from your she, house, so She stuck tampons right down my gas tank. <laughs> Well, if you you know you did, me, excuse me, did whatever. It. it is what it is, whatever. Well, if you wouldn't harass me, I wouldn't have did it. Ma'am, let her finish. Oh, so you did do it. I admit, to, I, I admit to vandalizing her car, yes. But in the same sense, I mean, she kept on harassing me, phone call after phone call after phone call. And you should have I mean, called the police, ma'am. Not, not retaliate. She should have if uh, she's trying to suggest that you were harassing her and that's why she retaliated and vandalizing your car. Give me the whole story, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> me and Lynette, like I said, we grew up together. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit older than me, but she was real good friends with my sister. Um, there was times I was younger, I ran away, I came stay with her. Like, just little silly stuff, but we were always there for each other. And like I said, she was in an abusive situation. She didn't want to stay there. She knew she had to get out of it, so she called me. She knew I wasn't going to tell her no, so she came to stay with me. Um, that was on May 9th, she moved in with me. Um, it was about a month, I would say, and like three weeks later, I noticed my coach purse was missing and my children's weed game system. And I didn't system. steal nothing from you. She you knows she man, stole my stuff. I don't have, look, I have three kids. I don't allow nobody in my house. I don't no, allow nobody in my house. Ma'am, I mean, I was let the only her one finish, there. Ma I wasn't the only one there. Nobody else was there. Yeah, there was other people there. No, there wasn't. One more time, and I'm going to grant her judgment and dismiss your case. Go ahead, ma'am. So, so what I makes you believe she did it? I don't have nobody in my house. You've never had a visitor? My kid's father comes and gets the kids, and yeah, my witness here, he comes, it's one of my good Now we're up to two. How many others? You say, that's, so far you said it. none. Now we're up to two, and she's the in third the, in one. In the period that she was at my house, no. Okay, tell me what that period was. She moved in May 9th. Um, it was... Moved out when? She moved out July 1st. Why? Uh, it was about a week after I confronted her about my stuff missing. I came home from work and her and her daughter and her stuff were gone. I called her. Were any of your things missing? Little stuff, but nothing major. My point is, if she was stealing from you, that's the time you would really steal. Right. It's when you're moving out. <laughs> Not when you're going to continue to stay there. Right. And you're suggesting to me that May 9th to beginning of July, you had no visitors. Just probably like two people. <laughs> like I said, you shook my, your head. my friend here you and my You shook your head no there. and said, uh, just probably like two people. <laughs> Why couldn't someone else have done it? Because they've been in my house previous and never did. She was living in your house and she hadn't done it before. When you confronted her, what did she say? She never recalled seeing the stuff from the day she moved in. Where had it been? The game was in my living room, where she was sleeping at. All right, ma'am, <laughs> what do you know about her things? I did not steal the Wii system. Did you see the Wii system? Yes, it was there. You okay. told me you didn't see it. I didn't tell you I didn't see it. You said you never recalled seeing it since you moved in. No. That's I mean, come said. on, if I'm sleeping in the living room, Correct. common sense would say that I saw it. Right, I thought okay. you were going to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> And they're going to have to usher you out for insulting me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so. The only thing I do admit to doing is vandalizing her vehicle. Yeah, and how did that I happen? Didn't... Why? Okay. Well, in the midst of me moving out, she ended up calling me and calling me. And she, I am getting this odd phone call of this odd number. I ended up answering it. We ended up getting into a huge altercation on the phone. Later on that evening, I'm, I mean, I'm hot-headed. You know what I'm saying? I understand where you're coming from, where I should have revolved to going to the police. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm hot-headed, I don't, I don't think. So I took it in my own hands, and that's when, you know what I'm saying, I waited till later that night, and that's when I keyed her car, smashed her windshield, 
and I took all my anger. Two of my tires. I took all my anger out on the car. I took my rear my first car, shoved him in her in her gas tank, and she deserved it. She better be like I shoved my nose. What you? No, I don't even want you to say that again. You threw me off. <laughs> you want the pictures of my car? Yes, please. There you go. All right. Put me back on track. That's all. This doesn't show anything hanging out of the gas tank, does it? Huh? No. Well, how do you know what was in it then? Okay, what had happened was I walked out after our altercation when I called her. She didn't answer my phone calls. Like I said, I called off of neighbor phone, a neighbor's phone and she answered my call. We got into an altercation, whatever. Two days later, on December 12th, um, me and my friend was walking outside to my car and noticed that my windshield was busted. She popped two of my tires. She kicked a dent in the side of my car on the rear fender. She carved in the back of my, by, on top of my bumper. And when I went to start my car, my car wouldn't start. How did you find out it was her? Through her sister. We're real good friends. She told her sister she did Her sister told me that she I was know, going... but how did her sister find out? Because she was going around the whole neighborhood talking about it. Okay. If a person would go around bragging about vandalizing your car... I didn't go They around. would also brag about or tell her sister that she stole from you. Yeah, I, I... took her stuff, <laughs> I took her weed, and then she started talking, yeah, and then I went and I did this to her car. I heard, yeah. I heard it around the neighborhood that she pawned my stuff because she didn't have money at the time. Well, you didn't say that. Yeah. That's the first time I've heard you say that people told you she pawned your things. How do you know she did it? Because <laughs> she was the only one there. We went through all of that. <laughs> now you're coming up with this new game. No, that's what Talking happened. about, well, people told me she pawned my stuff. I don't believe that. Okay. If a person would go around bragging about vandalizing your car, I didn't go they would also me. brag about or tell her sister that she stole from you. Yeah, I took her stuff, I took her weed, and then she started talking, yeah, and then I went and I did this to her car. Yeah. Defendant Lynette Dowdell is being sued by her former friend, who claims after she allowed Lynette to move in with her, Lynette vandalized her car and stole her property. 3000 for harassment, how so? How does she owe you? Because of the phone harassment, for one. Saying Where what? Where the call records at? Um, I don't have them. What was it, she you know, saying on the phone? Ma'am. I ain't call you. What was she saying? She was basically calling me a thief. Tell me yeah. how horrible a friend I was because I stole her items from her house and I come and tell her I wasn't. But anyways, also too on Facebook, she was posting that I was a thief and I found, found that out through a mutual friend. That's not true. Because we had, she had blocked me from her Facebook. Do you have any evidence on any no. of no, this? No, I actually there. deleted everything off of my Facebook because I was in the process of letting my How Facebook did I delete go. your stuff off your Facebook? I said I deleted my stuff off Ma'am, you have destinies for your damages, car damages. Yes, sir. Do you have it's any it's evidence to prove total. what you're saying? No, sir, I don't. So why should I believe you? I mean, if I was gonna lie, yeah, I would have lied about the damage. That's true. You lie about everything. That's right. a good point. <laughs> and if this woman ripped you off, or you believe that she stole from you, you would be calling and harassing her. You saying yes? I mean, you did. You said, hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. <laughs> I said, <laughs> if you believed that this woman uh, stole from you out right. of your house, right? You would be calling her her. I didn't call her that her. many times, though. How many times? I probably called her, okay, the day How many that times? she left my five, house. Five, ten? The day she left my house, I did, like, probably about five times off my phone. That's acceptable if you think she ripped you off right. and want to call her five times. Next. Then I called off my neighbor's phone, and she answered. How about the next day? The next day, I'll say about three or four times. Day after again. that? I left it alone. <laughs> All right. I left it alone. I All didn't call right. her no and more. Ma'am, I believe she thinks she I mean, stole thought... her items from her home. So if a person thought someone had stolen from them who lived with them, they would continue to call. And you haven't told me that she threatened you or mm -hmm. anything of that nature. We're so cool it sounds that. like she was just trying to track you down and perhaps... Uh, Threaten you when she got you on the phone. <laughs> but she didn't get you on the phone. I'm not going to grant you any money for harassment. I will grant her judgment for the car damage. It's $3,848. So you have proven today. Have a good day. Judgment for the time.
You really didn't take my stuff, though? No. Out of all the stuff we've been through, you know you took my stuff. No, I meant to vandalize in your vehicle, though. Should have stuck them tampons up your You should have shoved them up your